like to close this introduction to autonomic medicine course with some ideas for the future. First, I think it's important to, to emphasize that uh, dysautonomias are mind-body disorders. That's not, that's not a, uh, a pejorative statement. Uh, you can, that's, first of all, it's reality. And, uh, and second, uh, you can exploit this in terms of uh, management of, of the patient. Uh, the patient has to know what kind of situations are going to uh, be bad and what are not. And uh, and that includes uh, that includes uh, psychological phenomena like uh, classically conditioned responses. Um, we talked a little bit about the auto, uh, the autonomic and uh, immune interactions. I think there's a negative feedback loop that involves uh, the autonomic nervous system. What's been called the inflammasome. You see this uh, negative feedback loop where there's one negative relationship in a cycle. That's a negative feedback loop. Uh, part of the justification for vagal stimulation, which I'm not sure there's a booth here, but uh, that's another thing that's being uh, sort of studied. Uh, you have a vagal stimulator. Uh, for all I know, it's possible that by way of this reflex, Vagal stimulation might uh, might improve uh, inflammatory diseases, rheumatoid arthritis or something like that. Uh, I think it's something that's worth looking into. Uh, finally, there's a phenomenon I call flipping the clinic. Basically, I, I think the days are rapidly coming to a close where a patient goes to the doctor, the doctor answers a bunch of, qu asks a bunch of questions, uh, uh, does a bunch of tests, prescribes stuff, asks for consults, does procedures. As you come back for follow-up, that used to be the way medicine was. But no more because of the internet. And uh, Dr. Google uh, is uh, very powerful uh, uh, and his colleague, uh, Dr. Wiki. And patients, uh, for good or for bad, I think are increasingly coming to the clinical encounter with their own ideas. And the job of the doctor is not to just sort of patronize and say, oh, uh, do this, do this, do this. Instead, the, the doctor learns, and there's an interaction between the patient and doctor. The, 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 the doctor is guessing. Every, every patient is an experiment, the, just that the N is one. Uh, the doctor is experimenting based on his or her intuition and training and, and uh, experience and so forth and so on. The patient is giving the feedback. Well, you know what? It didn't work. Or yes, it did work. Or I tried trospium, let's say, and, uh, and it worked. So uh, I foresee uh, much more uh, uh, power and responsibility going to patients uh, in the future. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, that this uh, this program that we've uh, initiated here will be the basis of an internet-based medical education system in uh, in uh, in uh, autonomic medicine. Uh, and this could apply not just to dysautonomias but to uh, other disorders of regulation. Okay.